Kia ora, good evening. Prepare to go into isolation as a nation. The country will go into lockdown and schools will shut from tomorrow as the number of coronavirus cases jump dramatically in the biggest one day increase so far. 36 more people have tested positive for COVID-19, taking to 102 the total number of confirmed cases in New Zealand. Two of those are being treated as community transmission, not linked to overseas travel, which elevates the risk of widespread infections. The coronavirus alert level has been raised to three and will go to the highest level four in 48 hours, meaning a virtual shutdown. Stay at home is the official line. Schools will close as will all non-essential businesses, including bars and restaurants. All indoor and outdoor events will be banned. These measures will be in place for four weeks, but could be extended. We have extensive coverage tonight. One News report is live across the country as we head into the biggest lockdown in New Zealand history. We begin with political editor Jessica Much. A blunt message, the stakes laid bare. Without the measures I have just announced, up to tens of thousands of New Zealanders could die from COVID-19. All non-essential businesses must now close. All bars, restaurants, cafes, cinemas, pools, museums, libraries, playgrounds. So on Wednesday at midnight, we're going into lockdown. Everyone who doesn't perform an essential service needs to self-isolate. If you hang out with your friend at a park or see a family member for lunch, you risk spreading COVID-19 and extending the nation's time in level four. People like supermarket workers, pharmacists and food suppliers can go to work, but for everyone else, stay home. There's no school and all other businesses must close. But I am concerned for mental health and mental wellbeing for not only our staff, but other family members. So everybody just has to show love without touch. However, that will work. Anyone outside their home city needs to travel home, and all these rules will be enforced. Hopefully we'll never need uh, the Defence Force, but you always want to be prepared. So they're quite willing at our direction to work alongside us uh, while we're out in the communities. A move quickly backed by the opposition. And now I just urge all New Zealanders to get behind it and to ensure that they are following the uh, instructions uh, that they will be, get, be getting. Some say it's about time. I think this will interrupt the virus and I think we have to really applaud the government for showing real leadership and it's a really hard choice but it's absolutely the right thing to do. We're now operating as if we have community outbreak and the hope is this will give us a chance of getting through this pandemic without flooding our health system. We currently have 102 cases but so did Italy once. Now the virus has overwhelmed their health system. I would expect that we will continue to see more cases each day. And again, we're doing a lot of testing now, you know, between 1,200 and 1,500 or 1,100 and 1,500 tests a day. The government topped up its package for business. It's now $9 billion. But it's tough news for those having to shut up shop for now. We've got 10. This is big. I do not underestimate what I'm asking New Zealanders to do. It is huge. And I know it will feel daunting. A daunting new normal beginning on Wednesday. New Zealand goes into lockdown. It's level four for at least four weeks. Schools, bars, restaurants and transport across the country effectively close. The health ministry accepts the virus has done it. Community transmission is happening. And the results? Panic at the supermarket as news of the extreme restrictions come out. Kia ora, good evening. And if you're just joining us, brace, brace, brace for level four. The Prime Minister put the country at level three at lunchtime and warning the full lockdown of level four will be firmly in place by Wednesday. And that's for the next four weeks. By then, all schools must be closed. Many already have. And yes, that includes for the children of essential worker families. They have just 48 hours grace. Then they're in lockdown like the rest of us. 
bars, cinemas, you name it, all public venues closed nationwide and transport severely limited. The trigger was community transmission of the virus. The health ministry now accepts that it is happening. 36 more cases of the virus today, taking the total past 100. The alternative, to use the Prime Minister's own words, was that tens of thousands of New Zealanders die. Political editor Tova O'Brien begins our coverage. Few will have heard a message so sobering from their Prime Minister in their lifetime. The worst case scenario is simply intolerable. It would re represent the greatest loss of New Zealanders' lives in our history, and I will not take that chance. Coronavirus cannot go unchecked. Tens of thousands of New Zealanders will die. The Prime Minister drawing on the devastation faced in Italy. We currently have 102 cases. But so did Italy once. It now has nearly 60,000 cases, more than 5,000 dead. So desperate times calling for the most desperate of measures. In 48 hours, the country moves into near total lockdown for four weeks. These decisions will place the most significant restrictions on New Zealanders' movements in modern history. This is not a decision taken lightly. All non-essential businesses will shut, but don't panic. There are exemptions for doctors, pharmacies, petrol stations, essential banking services and supermarkets. They will all stay open, but don't shop unless you have immediate need. There will be enough for everyone if we shop normally. Stock is not an issue in New Zealand. We will not run out of food. All schools close from tomorrow except to children of essential workers, but come midnight Wednesday, total shutdown. Transport's only allowed for freight and people undertaking essential services. There are some things you can do, but only with those you're self-isolating with. You can leave your home for fresh air, a walk for exercise, to take your children outside. And if you break the rules, you could keep the country in lockdown longer. If you hang out with your friend at a park, or see a family member for lunch. You risk spreading COVID-19 and extending the nation's time in level four. Equally, if you see people breaking the rules, don't be a vigilante. Be kind. I know people will want to act as enforcers. And I understand that people are afraid and they are anxious. But we, we will play the role of enforcer. The Prime Minister's final message, be kind and be strong. I am not afraid because we have a plan. A plan that we all have a role in. Everything you will all give up for the next few weeks, all of the lost contact with others, all of the isolation and difficult time entertaining children, it will literally save lives. And it couldn't be more worth it than that.